Number four, a typical barometric pressure in Redding, California is about 750 millimeters of mercury. Calculate this pressure in ATM and in KPA, which is kilo pascals. Okie dokie. So it looks like we're just doing a conversion question. They gave us a barometric pressure, and in this case, we're reading it in millimeters of mercury. MM is millimeters, right? And HG on the periodic table is mercury. So it's 750 millimeters of mercury. We just have to convert this into different pressure units. But now for you guys, right, I just want to point this out that you should know or be able to spot out the units of pressure. So anytime that you see an ATM value, that's a pressure. Anytime that you see TOR, that's a pressure. Millimeters of mercury, that's a pressure. And so is pascals or kilopascals. This is basically the same idea of having so many different uh, mass units, right? There's grams, there's milligrams, there's kilograms, there's pounds, there's ounces. It's basically all different types of units to express a mass. The same thing here. So all we have to do is just memorize our conversion factors and just convert, right? So let's start off with 750 millimeters of mercury. And we're just converting. So we're pretty familiar with how to convert, right? We times by ratio. And if we don't want millimeters of mercury, we put that on the bottom. So MMHG on the bottom. And let's just convert to ATM first. So ATM is at the top. And now I use my conversion. These are all equal to each other. So all you got to do is just pick out the two that you're using. One ATM equals 760 millimeters of mercury. So 760 goes on the bottom and one goes up on top. Cancel out millimeters of mercury. And now all we have to do is 750 divided by 760. Let's find it out. 750 divided by 760. And for sig fig purposes, we'll do two sig figs. So it would be 0 0.99 ATM. Okay. That's the answer to the first one. Now let's go to the second one. I'm going to keep the same starting amount. 750 millimeters of mercury times by the ratio, right? We didn't want millimeters of mercury, so that goes on the bottom. And now we want kilopascals, so I'm going to put kilopascals up on top. All of these pressure conversions are equivalent to each other. So 760 millimeters of mercury equals 101.325 kilopascals. So 760 on the bottom. And that equals 101.325 kilopascals. Cancel out the millimeters of mercury and we're done. So now I'm going to say 750 times 101.325 divided by 760 and ooh okay so this one this one is like 99.99 if we wanted in scientific notation you would have to use or at the correct number of sig figs you would say 1.0 times 10 to the 1 2 because technically everything is rounding it up to 100 so in order to express 100 as two sig figs, you need to write it in uh, scientific notation. But if your professor or teacher doesn't care about sig figs, then who cares? 99.99. <laughs> All right. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I will see you in the next lessons. Okay, bye-bye.